Come into the air. Flip reset. Almost for sure. I'm, he got it. Yes, he did get it. Couldn't have been more wrong. All right, here we go. Second match of the night. Daniel versus Spider. Both of these guys have one win in the August monthly. Both of them looking for their second. Spider, completely undefeated, is looking to uh, continue that with a 2-0 against what would be a very good opponent. One of the best opponents he could beat on the stream right now. I put Daniel as rank 5. I did not even verify that. That's what he was last time around. So if I'm lying, you know what? Sometimes luck goes on. Wave dash kickoff for Spider. He is going to start down 1-0. Daniel was looking insane last time he was on the stream. Lots of pre-jump saves. As he seemed to know where the ball was heading no matter what. Spider air dribble all the way from his side of the field. Not going to be able to connect. Spider is an EU player. Staying up extra late to play on these streams. Uh, he needed to know what days we were going to stream. So he knew which days he could stay up until 5 a.m. to play. A nice pop-up air dribble for Spider. is going to tie it back up for him. He brings it one to one. If you are just tuning in or you're watching on YouTube, just know I'm going to be going in and out here as I deal with some allergies. Tonight is Thursday night, it is show match night. So the show must go on. And it will. Spider is going to go up 2-0. Oh, unless he wheel touches this one. It still rolls in. How long does it take uh, allergy meds to kick in? I need them to kick in instantly. It's thundering outside. So there is a non-zero chance that we get karma today. Spider, nice flick saved away from da by Daniel. Trying to make a quick play off the wall, and this is such a nice play from Daniel. The efficiency with the touch here. Sets himself up purposely off the corner. Such a strong play off the sidewall. 100 kilometer per hour shot, even with the bounce. Spider not able to get back in time. As Daniel ties it back up 2-2. Two two. Daniel, low dribble, can tell that Spider's coming in for the early challenge, so he will flick it early, and it pops over him for the lead. A big kickoff from Daniel, first one to mix it up here, is going to work perfectly as he gains control on his own corner. He's got Spider playing defense backwards, he's going to go for the breezy, and it might be able to redirect it back on net. But I'm sure he wished he went for something more simple because his initial jump had Spider completely beat. But he just wasn't able to turn the Breezy into a touch that put the ball on net. Arrow shot from Daniel. Boost steal, but the potential bump gets him up in the air. Spider almost able to get the counterattack based purely on sending Daniel to the air, but he's still going to be able to score. Oh, not quite. Called a little bit soon. There it is. Nice play from Spider. Very heads up play from him. To not prioritize the boost there. Daniel trying his best to tap it off the wall and be able to corral. Not going to happen as Spider gets the punish. Just a somewhat early flick. Not a lot of height on this one, but just earlier than I think. Spider expected immediately coming out of the corner with a touch to put it past Spider and by then it was going to be impossible to catch up. Daniel had so much more momentum than the shadowing Shadow. I'm oh, sorry, the shadowing Spider. His name is not Shadow. Daniel taking this one to the ground right back up into the air. Flip reset. Spider trying to get up with the challenge early. What a save. As Daniel does put a nice shot online, just a little bit too slow, giving Spider time to get back. Daniel 50 50, up near the ceiling. Not going to be able to squeeze it towards net. Spider, nice flick. He is capitalizing on the few opportunities that he is getting, and he is keeping this game close. Who is Spider? Spider is an EU player who hit me up to play, I think, 
that Spider is the first player we've had on stream who found us via YouTube. I think, uh, oh, that was a little bit of like a ping mess up or something. I want to say that he found me via the YouTube videos and asked to play. So here he is now, playing on stream. You never know, maybe he followed me on YouTube afterwards. But he, uh, he has already subscribed to the YouTube, and then after his first show match, he followed us on Twitch. So it seems like he wasn't following on Twitch before, just YouTube, which would be kind of neat. Daniel just saw that, oh my goodness, what an angle from Daniel. Daniel saw that Spider was out of position for a long play. Spider was trying to shadow, but he had his car face perfectly horizontal, aimed at that side wall instead of back towards his net. So Daniel knew that speed would beat him. He could get it there fast enough, and he just throws the extra flare, playing it off the back wall. Securing the 5-4 and following it up with a kickoff goal. As this, game's go this game goes from tied to up two for Daniel. Another fake kickoff for Daniel. Spider's gonna make the read this time. And he flicked to punish it. He tries to play it slow. He knew that flicking that one as he got close to the net was just going to send the ball high, giving it a very high likelihood of flying far back out towards his own net and making a counterattack easy. So that's why he ends up taking it low, just letting Daniel save it away. But Spider's keeping the pressure on right now, putting on some really tough shots that Daniel has done his best to keep him out. Nice low 50 save. Is going to give him a free bucket as Spider going a little bit all in for that last one. And he does not squeeze it in. He was hoping for it to go just inside the far post. But when it does not, he pushes himself out. And it's an easy one for Daniel. Pauly mentioned to us that Spider is from, uh, is from Belgium. This is a really nice play from him off the wall. He's got 42 seconds to make up two more goals. But he's got 100 ping on East, so that's not too bad. Oh, the toxic bump. You mean the toxic demo when uh, Daniel's goal was already headed in? Gotta try and tilt the opponent all you can. I'm all for demoing them at every opportunity. Nice 50 in the corner. Spider should be able to play this one fast enough. And it will be 6-7. One goal lead for Daniel. I wonder how often Spider cues... Uh, East servers. I wonder if he's queuing East a lot of the times when he's playing ranked or if he's always just queuing EU. Because 100 ping is, is not impossible to play with and it might be worth widening the player base. 20 seconds left. He needs to find a way to get one more goal and right now Daniel is in full control of possession trying to play it off the side wall. Mostly looking like he's just trying to steal boost thinking if he can slow Spider down then he can handle anything he's going to go for. And it's looking like that might work as Spider cannot initiate the dribble. Daniel just playing at too fast a pace. 100 boost for Spider. He's going to let it hit the ground. And Daniel will take game number one. Not one person's going to mention that the scoreboard just had the last game on it. Come on, guys. What are you here for? To help me out. It's all right. It's fixed now. What's going on, CSIS? Yo, the name is called Hanabi, not Karabi. H-A-N-A-B-I. It is the GOAT game. I agree. Game number two, Daniel versus Spider. Spider looking really good in game number one, despite not being able to take Daniel down. Very close game, and he will start this one up 1-0. So expect some great things from Spider coming out later in this series. Good night, Arctic Days. Good to see you, bud. Hope you have a good night's sleep. We'll let you know how it goes. Not as good as Rocket League, that's true. Daniel, nice well time flick. He has been able to read these midfield challenges from Spider very consistently. I wonder if it's time to start spicing in some big challenges because so far they've been mostly real commits and Daniel has flicked over them every time. It's time for Spider to start mixing it up. And make sure he gives a little bit of everything so he doesn't come too predictable for Daniel. Daniel in full control of the boost yet again. Daniel really likes these long air plays off of his own corner. This dribble will get saved away. 
He does force out a tough save, but that tough save does not require much boost. Oh my goodness, the flip reset over Spider, but Spider just bumps into Daniel to keep him out of the net, but then a nice air roll shot on the bounce. What a play from Daniel to take the lead two to one. Spider trying to get that early challenge on him instead, just pushes him slightly away from the ball. Almost looked like he had done enough to keep Daniel away, but the high bounce in favor of Daniel as he goes up two to one. Air dribble from midfield. The save from Spider not nearly strong enough, so Daniel's gonna try and get a continuation shot. Spider stays out of that and is able to get the counter attack. Maybe that was a good idea from Spider to save it as soft as he could if he was thinking about that next play he could make. And this time it works out for him perfectly as he baits Daniel into thinking he has a second opportunity. Seems a little bit too risky to me as Daniel was so close to actually securing a goal. But sometimes you gotta play a little bit, you know, with more risk against a player as good as Daniel to try and find some opportunities for yourself. Have a good night, Cease. Cease is heading out. Daniel into the corner. Decides not to use his flip off the wall. Didn't think he could actually get it on net and figured that using the flip was just going to put him in a worse spot. Taking this one into his own back wall. Down dribble initiation. Spider is coming in so deep every time with his challenges. And is convincing Daniel to take it the whole field. What a pinch save. Such great placement from Daniel. Spider is still able to keep it out. Spider bringing it across his own net. Daniel will steal the corner boost. Not able to catch the middle boost, but is able to catch the Spider as Spider is down. Three minutes left in this game. Bounce dribble for Daniel. He likes to take these in the air more often than not. And here he goes, up into the air. Flip reset, almost for sure. I don't think he got it. Yes, he did get it. Couldn't have been more wrong. As he puts a boomer on net. Top right corner. I thought he kind of rolled. Oh, yeah. On the replay, it is very clear he got it. What great placement from him. Spider trying his best to position it away to cut off that top shelf. But he could not cover the right side. As Daniel takes the lead 3-2. to two. Dangerous play here from Daniel. Taking this almost directly into his net. Spider just barely not able to capitalize. Daniel dribbling this towards the wall. I think that little Spider into a little bit of a sleeve. Daniel is so known for taking this up the wall. Going for the air dribble aerial plays. That Spider seemingly trying to set up for that immediately. Instead, Daniel cuts it low to the bottom left corner of the net. Very nice play from Daniel to mix it up. Ceiling reset from Daniel, never had a chance. He was not able to set up his car's momentum in the right way. He is gonna get a demo for his efforts and now Spider with a long field dribble. Daniel looking to close the distance. This is a really nice shot from Spider, and Daniel is going to give him the credit. Great setup from him just inside the halfway line. Not quite a, a, a 180, more like a 170, 160 degree flick, but so much power on it. Do it to him is exactly right. Trying to get a touch off this kickoff. Daniel's going to get full control. And this time he is actually going up. I love this play from Spider. It's not going to work out, but I like that he's putting Daniel um, you know, on his back foot, putting, making him scared to go for these plays. He's so consistent with them. And, oh, Spider just barely didn't have the pre-jump read. So close to taking it away. Not going to work this time. So Daniel will take the lead 5-3. to three. And It's looking like he's going to get a nice kickoff goal. Good pre-flip to put it top shelf as he doubles up Element. Or sorry, not element. See an element in chat. Saying 69. As he doubles up Spider. Nice play from Daniel. Daniel's doing a really good job of reading the challenges from Spider. Spider was challenging early on the ground. Looking like Spider wants to challenge early in the air as well. But Daniel knows all he needs to do is make a quick play, be decisive, and he can get it past him. 
And he has done exactly that as he is up 7-3. Both these guys playing very fast. Not wanting to give up possession at all. They stay close with the ball, and Spider, not a great touch. Daniel flicking it away from Ned, though. Seemed like he had an easy opportunity to tap it in, but not going to take it. Daniel pushing this one across the net. Good reset for him. Uses it early as he tries to get it past Spider. This time, the early challenge is going to work for him. Jumping as he's afraid of the demo coming behind him. But it's not going to come there. Did Spider just lose connection on a controller or something? I'm not sure why I gave up that dribble for free. Daniel's taking it the other way. Not able to secure it. take fast yeah maybe he was just trying to uh to wind down the clock sorry you might have picked up a little allergy handling on the mic there daniel not gonna tap in his eighth he's definitely playing the clock at this point just wants to wait for game number two to go in his favor as he is looking for the full sweep Headed into game number three. My allergies are actually insane right now. Game three, Daniel versus Spider. Daniel up 2-0. Looking to try and get the full sweep. Spider is going to get the first kickoff, though. I think these guys changed color. I want to say Daniel had been playing blue team. Spider's going to get blue team this time around. As these guys are so uh, color superstitious sometimes. Kinsei insisted that he won the game against Semi Kiss because of the color he was able to get more often than Semi. I forget which color it was. I don't know if it was blue team they were fighting for, and he got blue team enough times, and that's why he won. But that's why he'll tell you he won. Spider going for the breezy, going to get saved away by Daniel as it's sent high. Spider nice here. Well, Daniel's playing this sidewall defense inside his net. We saw him bringing that out against Purge for the first time on stream, and it seemed to work very nice for him, and it's going to work again. What an interesting, like, breezy, musty setup. Off the ceiling. Not going to find the back of the net. But a flip reset inches off the ground. Isn't going to work out for him. Daniel taking it off the side wall. Another flip reset so far away from that. He's going to be able to use it correctly. No, he puts it smack down in the center of the net. Spider is going to get the clear. And the easy second goal. Spider up to zero. Four minutes left to go in game number three. Backflip challenge from Daniel. Looking to go get the mid boost or maybe just get the bump. I felt like he could have rushed that one on net. Instead, Spider's going to be able to get the midfield boost and get the demo. To reset here a little bit. Three minutes, 33 seconds left. Full field dribble and a pop over. Daniel will be a third goal. As Spider is in full control of game number three. Daniel off kickoff. Trying to maintain possession. I do not think Spider has much boost. If Daniel can play this fast, he might be able to take it away from Spider. Spider up off the ceiling, and he has tricked Daniel into taking the early shot. It's not going to work for him. 
as this long shot forces out a tough save from Daniel. Daniel thinking about going out to midfield to get 100 boosts, but instead thinks better of it. As Spider barreling down on him. Bounce shot, power shot saved away, but still no boost for Daniel. As he tries his best to keep the pressure on with the little pads he has. Nice flick once again saved away. Spider needing to get a little bit better chance here. He does have Daniel on low boost, but he can't be putting in these basic low flicks to break the seal and oh my goodness this had absolutely been saved by a player of the caliber of spider he has been saving these away earlier in the series this flick is not bad considering how low boost daniel has but spider is saving that nine times out of ten and it is gonna make it in for daniel's first goal let me go check real quick to see x tap master thanks for the follow Spider reset up the ceiling, gonna play it fast. Daniel does get the save. Not able to set up a second touch for himself. Nice play on the ground. Spider has been handling the very fast play of Daniel very well. What a shot off the ceiling from Daniel as he is gonna bounce this one in. Able to find an angle on net. Let's watch this from Spider's perspective. He's trying to play defense on the wall. That's just so well placed. Spider never having a chance, but still in the lead, up 3-2. to two. Daniel, flip reset. Oh my goodness, the flip reset musty is going to bring him back tied. With two minutes left on the clock, he has worked his way back in fantastically. Another 150 off the kickoff for Daniel. Spider trying to put the pressure on early. Gets Daniel up in the air. Nice flip reset once again. Daniel is hitting every shot. Banger after banger. This is quite the way to come back. There's just not much you can do when somebody's going to get 100% flip reset nasty shots for every single goal in a ones game. Right now, Spider is doing the best he possibly can to try and hold Daniel off. But Daniel... Up 4-3 in this game, number three. Another quick play to the sidewall, and another air dribble from Daniel, so deadly. This time, Spider is going to try and play it on the ground, and it will work out for him as he clears it away on the goal line. Low 50. Not quite able to take it away from Daniel. Gets a little bit greedy on the corner. Daniel now playing a quick bounce dribble towards Spider's half. Spider does recover. Daniel takes it to this right wall again. This is about to become deja vu. The man cannot miss off this right wall. This flip reset is saved away. I'll have you know that he didn't miss the last two times. They were just saved. So my he can't miss isn't wrong. Nice low 50 from Spider. This is how he's been scoring earlier. Well, good defense and great counterattacks to take advantage of Daniel being slightly out of position. And this time Spider just going to bring that ball just outside the net so hard to get a 50-50 to save that far enough away. Spider tying it back up with a minute to go. Daniel bumping Spider off the ball, or sorry, off the uh, boost, but Spider's still gonna be able to get there first. Daniel not gonna let up on the pressure. He thinks he can get a nice low boost flick in, and he's not wrong. Spider, you are in full control in these moments. You have so much more boost than him, but he's just too afraid. Having driven a little bit past the ball, he can't reverse, so he's stuck ahead of it. Cannot find an opportunity to take it away. And before you know it, Daniel has flicked it in his net. Spider missing the boost on kickoff. Is still able to get the demo afterwards. Should be able to get a fifth goal here. Very nice play from him as Daniel just gets a little bit lost on where Spider is. Thinking he had an opportunity to set up a dribble. Thought Spider was headed back to net, but no. Spider's there at midfield. The demo him and tie it back up. Daniel, no way you got the flip reset there, but Spider is not going to risk it. This is the kind of confidence that Spider has in Daniel to uh, succeed when taking it up in the air. Nice flick. This is set a little bit high. Daniel not able to hit a strong enough counterattack. Spider should be able to gain control. Daniel to the corner. Is he going to win an entire game from the right wall air dribbles? My goodness. Perfect setup flip reset. He's not going to use it this time, and that was almost the perfect situation. He's done so well. To execute every time 
it was definitely a time to fake one and have it fall in under, but Spider almost luckily, I would argue, happens to be at the perfect height of the bounce of the fake and saves it away. Looks like we are headed into overtime potentially, unless Daniel can get this one on net. He has corralled up the first touch. He's going to keep it up. Can he corral it in for the end of the game? He will. 6-5. Daniel will end it in the last moment. Spider is going to head out of the game. But Daniel with the GGs as he gets the full sweep. Not one person's going to mention that the scoreboard just had the last game on it. Come on, guys. What you're here for? To help me out. It's all right. It's fixed now. What's going on, CSIS? Yo, the name is called Hanabi, not Karabi. H-A-N-A-B-I. It is the GOAT game. I agree. Game number two, Daniel versus Spider. Spider looking really good in game number one, despite not being able to take Daniel down. Very close game, and he will start this one up 1-0. So expect some great things from Spider coming out later in this series. Good night, Arctic Days. Good to see you, bud. Hope you have a good night's sleep. We'll let you know how it goes. Not as good as Rocket League, that's true. Daniel. Nice well time flick. He has been able to read these midfield challenges from Spider very consistently. I wonder if it's time to start spicing in some big challenges because so far they've been mostly real commits and Daniel has flicked over them every time. It's time for Spider to start mixing it up. And make sure he gives a little bit of everything so he doesn't come too predictable for Daniel. Daniel in full control of the boost yet again. Daniel really likes these long air plays off of his own corner. This dribble will get saved away. He does force out a tough save, but that tough save does not require much boost. Oh my goodness, the flip reset over Spider, but Spider just bumps into Daniel to keep him out of the net, but then a nice air roll shot on the bounce. What a play from Daniel to take the lead two to one. Spider trying to get that early challenge on him instead, just pushes him slightly away from the ball. Almost looked like he had done enough to keep Daniel away, but the high bounce in favor of Daniel as he goes up 2-1. to one. Air dribble from midfield. The save from Spider not nearly strong enough, so Daniel's going to try and get a continuation shot. Spider stays out of that and is able to get the counterattack. Maybe that was a good idea from Spider to save it as soft as he could if he was thinking about that next play he could make. And this time it works out for him perfectly. As he baits Daniel into thinking he has a second opportunity. Seems a little bit too risky to me as Daniel was so close to actually securing a goal. But sometimes you got to play a little bit, you know, with more risk against a player as good as Daniel. To try and find some opportunities for yourself. Have a good night, Cease. Cease this. Heading out. Daniel into the corner. Decides not to use his flip off the wall. Didn't think he could actually get it on net and figured that using the flip was just going to put him in the worst spot. Taking this one into his own back wall. Down dribble initiation. Spider is coming in so deep every time with his challenges and is convincing Daniel to take it the whole field. What a pinch save. Such great placement from Daniel. Spider is still able to keep it out. Spider bringing it across his own net. Daniel will steal. The corner boost, not able to catch the middle boost, but is able to catch the spider as spider is down. Three minutes left in this game. Bounce dribble for Daniel. He likes to take these in the air more often than not. And here he goes, up into the air. Flip reset, almost for sure. I don't think he got it. Yes, he did get it. Couldn't have been more wrong as he puts a boomer on net. Top right corner. I thought he kind of rolled. Oh, yeah, on the replay, it is very clear he got it. What great placement from him. Spider trying his best to position it away to cut off that top shelf, but he could not cover the right side as Daniel takes the lead 3 to 2. Dangerous play here from Daniel, taking this almost directly into his net. Spider just barely not able to capitalize. 
Daniel dribbling this towards the wall. I think that little spider into a little bit of a sleeve. Daniel so known for taking this up the wall, going for the air dribble aerial plays that Spider seemingly trying to set up for that immediately. Instead, Daniel cuts it low to the bottom left corner of the net. Very nice play from Daniel to mix it up. Ceiling reset from Daniel, never had a chance. He was not able to set up his car's momentum in the right way. He is going to get a demo for his efforts, and now Spider with a long field dribble. Daniel looking to close the distance. This is a really nice shot from Spider, and Daniel is going to give him the credit. Great setup from him just inside the halfway line. Not quite a, a, a 180, more like a 170, 160 degree flick, but so much power on it. Do it to him is exactly right. Trying to get a touch off this kickoff. Daniel's going to get full control. And this time he is actually going up. I love this play from Spider. It's not going to work out. But I like that he's putting Daniel um, you know, on his back foot. Putting, making him scared to go for these plays. He's so consistent with them. And oh, Spider just barely didn't have the pre-jump read. So close to taking it away. Not going to work this time. So Daniel will take the lead 5-3. to three. And it's looking like he's going to get a nice kickoff goal. Good pre-flip to put it top shelf. As he doubles up Element. Or sorry, not Element. I see an Element in chat. Saying 69. As he doubles up Spider. Nice play from Daniel. Daniel's doing a really good job of reading the challenges from Spider. Spider was challenging early on the ground. Looking like Spider wants to challenge early in the air as well. But Daniel knows all he needs to do is make a quick play, be decisive, and he can get it past him. And he has done exactly that as he is up 7-3. guys playing very fast not wanting to give up possession at all as they stay close with the ball and spider not a great touch daniel flicking it away from ned though seemed like he had an easy opportunity to tap it in but not gonna take it daniel pushing this one across the net Good reset for him uses it early as he tries to get it past spider this time the early challenge is gonna work for him jumping as he's afraid of the demo coming behind him but it's not going to come there. Did Spider just lose connection on a controller or something? I'm not sure why he gave up that dribble for free. Daniel's taking it the other way. Not able to secure it. Interesting take, Faz. Yeah, maybe he was just trying to uh, to wind down the clock. Sorry, you might have picked up a little allergy handling on the mic there. Daniel not going to tap in his eighth. He's definitely playing the clock at this point. Just wants to wait for game number two to go in his favor as he is looking for the full sweep. Headed into game number three. My allergies are actually insane right now. Game three, Daniel versus Spider. Daniel up 2-0. Looking to try and get the full sweep. Spider is going to get the first kickoff, though. I think these guys changed color. I want to say Daniel had been playing blue team. Spider's going to get blue team this time around. As these guys are so uh, color superstitious sometimes. Kinsei insisted that he won the game against Semi-Kiss because of the color he was able to get more often than Semi. 
I forget which color it was. I don't know if it was blue team they were fighting for, and he got blue team enough times. And that's why he won. But that's why he'll tell you he won. Spider going for the Breezy. Going to get saved away by Daniel as it's sent high. Spider nice here. Well, Daniel's playing this sidewall defense inside his net. We saw him bringing that out against Purge for the first time on stream. And it seemed to work very nice for him, and it's going to work again. What an interesting, like, breezy, musty setup. Off the ceiling. Not going to find the back of the net. But a flip reset inches off the ground. Isn't going to work out for him. Daniel taking it off the side wall. Another flip reset so far away from that. He's going to be able to use it correctly. No, he puts it smack down in the center of the net. Spider is going to get the clear. And the easy second goal. Spider up to zero. Four minutes left to go in game number three. Backflip challenge from Daniel. Looking to go get the mid boost or maybe just get the bump. I felt like he could have rushed that one on net. Instead, Spider's going to be able to get the midfield boost and get the demo. To reset here a little bit. Three minutes, 33 seconds left. Full field dribble and a pop over Daniel will be a third goal as Spider is in full control of game number three. Daniel off kickoff. Trying to maintain possession. I do not think Spider has much boost. If Daniel can play this fast, he might be able to take it away from Spider. Spider up off the ceiling, and he has tricked Daniel into taking the early shot. It's not going to work for him. As this long shot forces out a tough save from Daniel. Daniel thinking about going out to midfield to get 100 boost, but instead thinks better of it. As Spider barreling down on him. Bounce shot. Power shot saved away, but still no boost for Daniel. As he tries his best to keep the pressure on. With the little pads he has. Nice flick once again saved away. Spider needing to get a little bit better chance here. He does have Daniel on low boost. But he can't be putting in these basic low flicks. To break the seal. And oh my goodness. This had absolutely been saved by a player of the caliber of Spider. He has been saving these away earlier in the series. This flick is not bad considering how low boost Daniel has. But Spider is saving that 9 times out of 10. And it is going to make it in for Daniel's first goal. Let me go check real quick to see. X Tap Master, thanks for the follow. Spider reset off the ceiling, gonna play it fast. Daniel does get the save. Not able to set up a second touch for himself. Nice play on the ground. Spider has been handling the very fast play of Daniel very well. What a shot off the ceiling from Daniel as he is gonna bounce this one in. Able to find an angle on net. Let's watch this from Spider's perspective. He's trying to play defense on the wall. That's just so well placed. Spider never having a chance. But still in the lead, up 3-2. to two. Daniel, flip reset. Oh my goodness. The flip reset musty is going to bring him back tied. With two minutes left on the clock, he has worked his way back in fantastically. Another 150 off the kickoff for Daniel. Spider trying to put the pressure on early. Gets Daniel up in the air. Nice flip reset once again. Daniel is hitting every shot. Banger after banger. This is quite the way to come back. There's just not much you can do when somebody's going to get 100% flip reset nasty shots for every single goal in a ones game. Right now, Spider is doing the best he possibly can to try and hold Daniel off. But Daniel up 4-3 in this game number 3. Another quick play to the sidewall and another air dribble from Daniel. So deadly. This time Spider is going to try and play it on the ground. And it will work out for him as he clears it away on the goal line. 
low 50. Not quite able to take it away from Daniel. Gets a little bit greedy on the corner. Daniel now playing a quick bounce dribble towards Spider's half. Spider does recover. As Daniel takes it to this right wall again. This is about to become deja vu. The man cannot miss off this right wall. This flip reset is saved away. I'll have you know that he didn't miss the last two times. They were just saved. So my he can't miss isn't wrong. Nice low 50 from Spider. This is how he's been scoring earlier. Well, good defense and great counterattacks to take advantage of Daniel being slightly out of position. And this time, Spider just going to ring that ball just outside the net. So hard to get a 50-50 to save that far enough away. Spider tying it back up with a minute to go. Daniel bumping Spider off the ball. Or sorry, off the uh, boost, but Spider's still going to be able to get there first. Daniel not going to let up on the pressure. He thinks he can get a nice low boost flick in, and he's not wrong. Spider, you are in full control in these moments. You have so much more boost than him, but he's just too afraid. Having driven a little bit past the ball, he can't reverse. So he's stuck ahead of it. Cannot find an opportunity to take it away. And before you know it, Daniel has flicked it in his net. Spider missing the boost on kickoff. Is still able to get the demo afterwards. Should be able to get a fifth goal here. Very nice play from him as Daniel just gets a little bit lost on where Spider is. Thinking he had an opportunity to set up a dribble. Thought Spider was headed back to net, but no, Spider's there at midfield. The demo him and tie it back up. Daniel, no way he got the flip reset there, but Spider is not going to risk it. This is the kind of confidence that Spider has in Daniel to uh, succeed when taking it up in the air. Nice flick. This is set a little bit high. Daniel not able to hit a strong enough counterattack. Spider should be able to gain control. Daniel to the corner. Is he going to win an entire game from the right wall air dribbles? My goodness. Perfect setup. Flipper said he's not going to use it this time and that was almost the perfect situation. He's done so well to execute every time. It was definitely a time to fake one and have it fall in under, but Spider almost luckily, I would argue, happens to be at the perfect height of the bounce of the fake and saves it away. Looks like we are headed into overtime potentially, unless Daniel can get this one on net. He has corralled up the first touch. He's going to keep it up. Can he corral it in for the end of the game? He will. 6-5. Daniel will end it in the last moment. Spider is going to head out of the game. But Daniel with the GGs as he gets the full sweep.